that how how this works is exactly like how our brain develops any new abilities. It's uh, when we develop a new ability, it's not the kind of learning where you're sitting down at a chalkboard and understanding things with your thinker. You don't have to think about abilities that you develop. What you need is, is information and real-time feedback on every developmental ability you have. Like if you've learned how to snowboard or ride a unicycle or ride a bicycle, you get feedback in real time or you can't learn. We have a sensor in your inner ear that can sense um, balance and orientation uh, it's in, a, in real time. So if you start sliding this way, uh, you feel it. And after three hours of practice on everything you get feedback on, balancing on a snowboard or here uh, uh, within, within three hours, your brain automatically develops new abilities. It rewires itself automatically without your thinking about it or even knowing what's happening consciously with your thinker. That's why babies learn to walk uh, when they hold on to a couch for a few uh, minutes and they let go and they wobble around and fall on their butts. They do that over and over again. And after three hours, they learn to stand and they smile and they laugh. And it's like this superhuman ability. We do that with brain paint by giving you information on mental and emotional states. So your clinician will give you an assessment where they ask you a bunch of questions about how your brain balances states, states of emotion and states of thinking, how well you can concentrate and focus. If your mind wanders, if you get really sleepy and you take naps or you snore, sleep states, many, many states, we ask questions about those that elicit to what extent does your brain want to either speed up or slow down or stop hyperreactivity to events in the external world. And there are brain waves related to those three things that we can teach your brain to balance mental and emotional states in the same way that your brain would learn how to balance uh, physical states on like a bike or a snowboard or unicycle or something like that. And so that's all it is. Uh, we give your brain information. You, after you've done the assessment, your clinician will put sensors on your head and there's two types of training, many differences within each of the two types, but there's eyes open training and some eyes closed training. Uh, so the eyes open training, they uh, will give you a, a task that you do where you see this graph that has some blue in it, any blue in it, click this right mouse button to prevent it from turning all blue for as long as you can. And this other type of training where the machine can talk to you, or in some cases, a clinician may give you some things to think about in the initial three sessions, and the machine will tell you everything to do. And then it plays sounds that your brain hears when it's getting a little bit more calm or a little bit more anxious instantly, many, many times, and uh, thousands of times a minute. And with that information, your brain can learn to balance in states where you're feeling better more frequently. It's an accumulative process that takes between five and eight uh, bi-weekly sessions or 10 to 12 sessions if you're only doing it once per month. But what we see statistically is after people have completed uh, between five and eight sessions, they're typically breaking records and how they're feeling outside of sessions. And what's happening during the sessions is very much like what would happen in the first half hour of practicing snowboarding. Nothing really happens. You're not any better a half hour of practice on a snowboard. You'll spend most of the time on your butt. Uh, in the neurofeedback sessions themselves, uh, it's very similar that you get the information and your brain will actually get kind of tired if you're doing primarily all eyes open work. Your brain will get exhausted during the session. Right? You won't feel more focused during the feedback. But after you've done between five and eight of these outside of sessions and often likely for tens of thousands of hours of your life, when we see some studies that have replicated our work with uh, 10 years of follow-up, we see that the results seem to hold after people have done between 20 and 40 of these sessions.